just like so that was awesome and that's perfect strike right there are you that golfer that struggles to develop that good ball then ground contacts with your irons well if so in today's video i'm going to transform your ball striking with just two swing thoughts these are super super simple but they're going to give you that crisp solid contact that you always wanted so two absolutely key ingredients to being a great ball striker is a having your low points or the lowest point of your arc after the golf ball and b being able to generate this great width on the way through now both of these things we're going to tackle in today's video so i often see a lot of people really struggle when it comes to their trail arm mechanics in the downswing and this often causes them to move their low point too far back you'll see them get to the top they'll start to throw their arm out as a result they're either presenting a lot of loft the ball goes very very high or they are hitting the ground way too early now often this can be caused by poor mechanics at the top of the backswing so for example your arm structure could be off or your club face could be off but let's just assume they're in a reasonably decent position now let me show you an analogy so if i just drop the club down on the ground i want you to imagine you have a goal ball, or you can actually do this do this drill right here take your lead hand place it behind your back grab a ball in your trail hands. Now, if you are that golfer who struggles with an early release, you're hitting it fat, you're hitting it very, very high, what you were gonna do is if you recreate that same feeling is as you turn down and throw that ball, you would see that you would re release it and it would hit behind the golf ball that you're hitting right there. So you would be throwing your angles out way too early. Now, if I simply just gave you the challenge and said, right, I want you to take this golf ball and I want this ball to land about a foot to two foot past the golf ball right there. Now, if I do this here and I freeze, so I go to the top and then I shift and do it there. What do you notice has happened? Well, firstly, in order for me to do this, I naturally want to shift my weight to my left side. That is perfect because body weight is such a, it plays such a big influence over where we're going to hit the ground. So by having that weight shift to the left side is going to promote the low point being further forwards. Number two, you would see my arm sort of held a little bit of angle and then it released it a lot later. So it extended across my body. Again, that is absolutely crucial. If I now grab a club and I do that same motion, I just move the ball to the side right here and I say, right, now recreate that same feeling with a club. You are going to go here and then extend your arm across. Where did I make contact? Right there. Now, as you can see from the downline view, it's not like I'm going over here. As I do this, I'm just swinging down on plane. I'm just trying to feel like my arm is extending across my body as if I'm throwing a, uh, a golf ball in front of the golf ball that I'm trying to hit. I can even grab a ball, bring it in here and actually hit it doing this drill. So I can place it on a tee and I can go, right, I'm trying to hit the ball, uh, the ground past the golf ball right there, one-handed, and you can hear how crisp that strike is. So such a simple little thought is grab a ball and throw it in front or past the golfer that we're trying to hit. This is how we can ensure we get that ball and then ground contact. Now, if I place just two hands back on the club and I sort of imagine that there is a spot a good two or three inches past the golf ball, and I just start doing some little half swings where I'm imagining I'm throwing my arm into that spot, you are gonna see how it promotes a good weight shift, is gonna promote me delivering some shaft lean, and it's also gonna promote me moving that low point forward. So in terms of simplifying down the game and having a swing thought that we can actually just take to the golf course, which is often where I see so many people, they get too technical out on a course. You just gotta play on instincts. This is a very instinctual thought. It's just hit that spot past the ball, grab that golf ball in your hand, throw it past the ball that's on the ground. And then from there, you'll see so many positive chain reactions are taking place. Every single one of these swings has had the low point miles past the golf ball. Now, if I do this here with just a little shot, I'm just gonna do a little half three quarter shot right here. You can hear how solid that contact is. And this is an eight iron, that was a half swing. That's pretty much flown 140, 150 yards with a range ball. If I do that with a full swing, you'll see I get a beautiful ball then ground contact. Just like so, that was awesome. And that's a perfect strike right there. And this is how we can just use this trail arm mechanic, such a simple analogy, to help you achieve that ball and in ground contact. So we've now got you in a position to where the low point is past the golf ball. Now it's time for the second key thought. Now this is all to do with the arms and this is gonna really help you stabilize down your release. It's gonna give you more body rotation, more width, all of these different things. Now what I want you to do is just grip your hands without the club right here. Now, widen your elbows apart. What happens to your hands? You can see as I do that, my hands get close to my chest. Now if I said to you, right, 
bend your arms and now squeeze your elbows together. What happens to your arms? They go wider away from your body. Now, if you grab your club, do the same thing, you'll see that right there. As I squeeze my elbows together, my arms go wider. Now, what is it that we see all golfers sort of fall into? So many amateurs do this. They get very, very narrow. They chicken wing on the way through and their elbows spread apart. So by simply going from here and going, right, squeeze the arms together, you now get into a super wide position. So you, cut, uh, you build together the right arm throwing across the body and then the arms squeezing together on the way through and boom, that's how you get into that sort of Tommy Fleetwood-esque position. Now there's a really popular training aid out there where there's this sort of ball that goes between your forearms, like a uh, tour striker, I believe it's called. Uh, and what you will see is that is awesome because it keeps the pressure between the arms it allows you to have that sensation. But I just like to tell people, look, imagine your elbows are a certain distance apart, let's just say, for example, 10 inches. And then from there, as you go through, you wanna feel like they either stay 10 inches or they maybe get a little bit closer, more like to eight. So I'm just gonna hit a shot here, just a little sort of chippy shot. And I'm gonna focus on the way through, squeezing my arms together. And you can see that gets me in a position to where I've rotated. If my arms are squeezing, I am going to have to turn my body in order to get into that good follow through position. If my arms start to buckle, my body has no reason to turn because the arms are just gonna pull around this way. And ultimately from there, we're not gonna be able to deliver any compression, any shaft lean. And it's gonna make it very, very difficult to get that ball and then ground contact. Now, what I wanna do is just hit some shots for you here. So I've got a couple of different balls. I'm just gonna start very, very slow. And I'm just gonna combine the feeling of the right arm throwing across the body and the arm arms squeezing together. Let's just do a little chip shot to start with, like so. And you can see in this position here, but you can see arms are squeezed together, body's completely turned through, and that was a good ball then ground contact. Now, once you can do it at that distance, then we're gonna build it up. So let's say that was a chip. Now we're gonna go a little bit longer. And you can see there again, really crisp contact was feeling my arm throw across my body. And from there, you can see I'm squeezing the arms together. Really nice checkpoint. And again, I can even go uh, further. So I can go up to a three quarter swing to closer to a fuller swing. And you can see squeezing the arms together. Now this obviously reminds a lot of people of Tommy Fleetwood. You don't necessarily have to be having this follow through all the way up here. You don't. If you want to have that sore and off follow through where you feel like you squeeze your arms together and it produces really awesome contacts, do it. You don't need to finish with your hands above your head. So let me show you what that would look like. I'm going to go a full swing right here. A normal backswing and then boom, finish with a sawn off follow through, squeezing my arms together and then throwing that arm across the body. This is going to give me a great strike like this. So there you have it. Those are two simple swing thoughts that you can implement straight away and take it to the golf course, which is the most important thing that are gonna help you with your ball strike. And you can do this with all clubs, wedges, driver, irons, everything. Now, if you need a little bit more one-to-one -one help with your game, I offer online coaching on the Skillist platform. Click the link down below, go check it out over there. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and subscribe. Also click the bell button as that's gonna notify you every time I post a new video.